Yo, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we're going to be talking about, talking about bets for UFC Vegas 90. Brandon Allen, Chris Curtis, two. It was supposed to be Marvin Vittori. Honestly, this is a better fight. Um, I don't really see this fight going much different from the first round, besides it may go longer. But in the end, I do see Chris Curtis ending up getting a TKO win. I just don't see Brandon Allen's game that much improved from the first time they fought it. Uh, he's just been able to get guys down. He hasn't looked good in the striking department, as he almost never does. Uh, his ground game, of course, is good, but you're fighting a guy like Chris Curtis who has more fights than you, has better takedown than anybody you've ever fought before, and is a better boxer than you, and is a better chin than you. I mean, Andre Muniz hurt you. Paul Craig was making you glossy-eyed. Sam Alvey hurt you. Yeah, sure, you got finishes in those in those fights, but still... <laughs> it's still the fact anyways um so some really good bets i really liked i was on stream last night talking about these if you ha didn't watch the stream click back click on the videos and watch the stream i will be live for saturday's entire card so please be there for that um first i think uh, dylan bouquet 32 and a half significant strikes i think it's lower because i don't think the fight goes that long um yeah this is underdog picks by the way um not sponsored but I, I like the significant strike thing. So Dylan Duque, 32 and a half uh, significant strikes. I think it lower because I don't think the fight goes very long. Morgan Cherry against uh, Chepe Mariscal, half knockouts. So for him to win by knockout basically is two times. So it's a very, very nice uh, uh, like boost or whatever. So I like Morgan Cherry as it is by itself, him to get a finish. Um, next is Alex Morano, 68 and a half significant strikes. I think higher simply because I think the fight goes three rounds. I don't think there's necessarily a finish in this one at all. Uh, Alex Morano doesn't have the power to finish McGee, and McGee has had issues with like uh, Matt Brown, who has big power, um, Santiago Ponzinibbio, big power, uh, Jeremiah Wells, big power. See what I'm saying? Next, we have Walter Walker, 38 and a half significant strikes. I think lower because I don't think the fight goes very long. And then last but not least is Ignacio Baja Mendez, 53 and a half significant strikes. I really, really like that. Again, if you look at, uh, of course, they don't have, uh, and, and there, there's some other ones you could do. Submission is two and a half times. Knockout is 1.25. Finish, sure, you could say he's in the finish. I don't think he necessarily gets a finish. Um, I, I just like the uh, significant strikes for these uh, for these bets. Uh, there are some other ones that you definitely could do. Look at those are just those are the five correct, or you can do a flex. So if you get five correct, it pays twenty times. If you get four right, it's five times. So it gives you a little bit of a, a leeway there. It doesn't do anything for Chris Curtis, which really really sucks. If he gets a finish, it's, it's two times fourteen point two five for a submission, which he's not going to get a submission. So it doesn't really help. But it also doesn't give significant strikes for Chris Curtis, which I think is wild to me. Um, it does, like I said, give it for Allen. It gives a submission and finish is lower, so it doesn't really do anything there. Brendan Allen, 59 and a half significant strikes. I don't think he stands in strikes with uh, uh, Chris Curtis, even though he could do some like leg kicks and body kicks. You know, kicks could it could kind of add up as it goes on. But in 17 and a half fight time, I don't know. Um, Alexander Alex Hernandez, uh, times six for submission i don't think he submits damon jackson i think it's kind of crazy 49 and a half significant strikes it's a little bit of a toss-up because alex hernandez typically after the first round besides a couple fights doesn't look great so i don't know how many significant strikes he's going to be able to do now he could get a big chunk of that in the first round so by the time the end of the third round comes he could be very very close to that or just above it but he also could be below it Damon Jackson starts very, very strong. So that one's a tough one. Um, and then I don't really like uh, any of the other ones, to be honest. Uh, I don't think Brzezeski wins at all. Charlie Campbell, I don't trust him. You know, even though I, the, 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 the problem I have with Charlie Campbell is is it says 33 and a half seven strikes i don't think he could take 30 punches from trevor peak that's the issue i don't think if they're trading back and forth and it's a it's a barn burger i don't think charlie campbell can take 
Trevor Peak. Trevor Peak may be able to take Charlie Campbell's punches, but I don't think Charlie can. So 33 and a half significant strikes. I'm a little bit worried to do that simply because of the fact I don't know if he can take those punches. I, I, I just don't know, and I don't think he can. Uh, Norman Dumont, 46 and a half significant strikes. I don't think she's going to strike with uh, Jermaine Duranamy. Now, if it gets to the ground, it is also one one and a half takedowns. I don't know if she's going to be able to get Jermaine Duranamy down. She's long. She has good takedown defense. She has good uh, guillotines. And her striking is very, very good. Now, I do think Norma Dumont is going to go for takedowns. But I just don't know how successful she's going to be in it. It worries me a little bit. And then, um, you also could do three takedowns for Dylan Boudke, uh, which is 1.2 times. So, if you take away his lower, like I have, and do higher uh, for three plus takedowns, if you think you can get more than that, or lower is 0.8, so it doesn't really help. You might as well take the chance on higher. And if you get everyone right besides that one, it, it, I mean, let's just say you put, oops, let's say you put five bucks on the flex. So if you get five correct, it pays 120. If you get four correct, it pays $30. But if you pay just straight, you're going to get all five correct. It pays 240 Absolutely incredible. It really, really is. Even if you put a dollar, you could win 48 or 24 or 6 bucks if you get 4 out of 5. Right. Still pays. It's not terrible at all. And again, there are some other ones that you can do. As for like, you want to take some chances. Okay, fine. You know, Chris Curtis to get a finish is two times. I like those odds. Alexander Hernandez uh, to get a knockout, uh, which is 1.2. You think he gets a knockout? Okay, do do that. Um, you think Damon? Uh, you think uh, Morgan Sherry gets a finish, which is uh, a knockout. Actually, pays two times. You could do a submission, which is six point five. I don't want to take that chance. I'm sorry, I just don't. But a finish or a knockout is two times. I like that a lot. Um, and then you could do Ignacio Bahamant. Nah, 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 nah. Let's do. Let's do Walter uh, Walker. Uh, Johnny Walker's brother, you think he gets a knockout? That's 1.2 as well. And then I think there's one more that we can do. Um, let's say, da, 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 da. let's say Dylan Bouquet gets the three takedowns that it's saying 1.2 times. So it's a little bit of a reach. It's a possibility. It may happen. It may not. He's fighting a kickboxer. He's not going to want to strike with them. He's going to be looking for takedowns. And 1.2. Let's do that. Oh, it's been reached. Okay, so uh, if you get five on the flex, if you get five correct, it's 50 times. If you get four correct, it's 7.28. Not bad at all. For example, you do $1, it pays 50 bucks. If you get four correct, it's 17.28. If you get five correct, $100. Now let's say you're feeling, you're feeling froggy. Let's do five. 500 for the five straight, uh, 250 for the five correct on the flex, or 8640. Now again, you're taking some chances. Yes, you are. But Dylan Bouquet fighting the the uh, striker, he might not want to strike with him. Three takedowns. It's not out of the question. Walter Walker getting a finish against a guy who's terrible in the UFC, get a knockout. I'll take those odds. Morgan Cherry, who's a better striker, better movement, and faster than Chepe, who kind of plots forward. I like Chepe a lot, but still. Sure, uh, Alexander Hernandez might be the only one that's a little, little hard to see if he's gonna finish uh, Damon Jackson. Um, actually, let's look at what is Damon Jackson's, Damon Jackson's thing. Okay, let's do this. You don't think Alexander Hernandez gets it done? You maybe you think Damon Jackson possibly could get it done? A a knockout pays six times. If you think he can get a knockout over Alexander Hernandez, if you think he can get a, 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 a TKO win, let's do the six times. Let's take that chance. Unbelievable. Let's let's say that. One, two, Damon Jackson has six times. So, uh, yeah, the five pays 500, 250, 250. If you get four correct, the max entry multiplier has been reached. Okay, so, yeah. So let's do two and a half. Let's do reach. 
Let's take that away. Oh, flex payout of 50. Okay, so you don't get anything more than a 50 multiplier. Multiplier. So again, be careful with it. But again, it, it, it's very, very nice that there's all these. I wish Chris Curtis had significant strikes on here. I think that would be great, but it might be a little too easy. Maybe that's why they don't have it on there. Um, last but not least, uh, something I want to look at. They should have them there. FanDuel is weird, man. Sometimes they'll have them before. Sometimes they have them well as the fight night's coming up. It doesn't make sense. It needs to come out before that. But let's look at it. Let's take a gander. Let's take a gander. I hope everybody has, is having a good day. Um, I can't believe how crazy the channel is going right now. You guys are absolutely incredible. Thank you guys so much for that, for all the subscribers. Um, let's see. Let's see. Do they have it up? And they do. So Trevor Peak versus Charlie Campbell. Very interesting. This fight is obviously not going the distance. Now, how do you think this fight ends? How will the fight end? A, a knockout TKO or KO is minus 210. So they're assuming it's going to be a knockout. So again, it's not great odds by itself. But if you parlay it, it's perfectly fine. So if you think there's going to be another one where, okay, so like Luke Volter uh, Walker versus Lucas Brzezeski. Okay, how do you think that fight ends? How does the fight end? TKO or KO is a minus 40. You, will it go to the distance? Is minus 220. So let's just say the fight ends by knockout. That already puts you at plus 153. Now, again, if you're still not really caring for those odds, really, okay, fine. Let's do uh, da, 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 da. Chepe versus uh, Morgan Cherry, which, again, I think Morgan is a better striker. Better movement with a fight go the distance. It says no plus 136. How will the fight end? Is I think by TKO or KO. Let's say the fight doesn't go the distance. Let's do plus 136. Does not go the distance. Plus 490. Now you may end up having to bet a little bit more, but like five bucks, you could win 2486. Take a bigger chance, 10 bucks, about 50 bucks. So there's a lot of good. Uh, odds on here if you're feeling real froggy i think trevor peak wins he's a plus 148 underdog which i think is kind of crazy Volter walker if you think he wins it's a minus 265 personally i don't think the fight goes to a decision so let's just say no decision but that also is right around where he's at personally i think the fight ends by knockout and that is better odds at minus 140 so let's do that and then next, uh, shoot, let's go. Yep, Trevor Peak got that one. Ignacio Baja Mendes versus uh, Christos Yagos. Do, how does that fight go? Total rounds. You can only really make make good have good odds at under one and a half. I don't really see Ignacio Baja Mendes getting a finish, and if he does, it won't be till later. This one's a little bit tricky because how will the fight end? It says. They're predicting a plus 130 KO or TKO. Points is a plus 145. So they don't really know. It's either going to be a decision or it's going to be a TKO or KO. Christos Yagos has only been finished twice by Josh Emmett and Arun Sayukian. Not that Ignacio Baja Mendez can't finish him. But I just, I really wish there was like a significant uh, uh, strike. What is it? A significant strike slanted option in this one but unfortunately there's not um Ignacio Baja Mendes by KO or TKO or Christos Yagos by points I don't like that uh da, 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 da. either fighter to win in rounds one or three don't think that either um either fight no 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 okay I don't like I don't like these special ones I don't like that Let's say Ignacio Baja Mendez by KO or TKO or on points, which is a minus 165. Submission or on points is a plus 110. Let's take those odds. It's a little bit risky because I don't suspect Baja Mendez going for submission. I am suspecting him to get a decision win. But you could take the risk 
because the odds are a little bit better at plus 110 i'm gonna click on that and again you're already at plus 792 with three bets trevor peak money line Walter Walker, Lucas Brzezinski, the fight to end by KO or TKO, and then Nasi Baja Mendes by submission or on points, simply just for the better odds. And then next you have uh, Chepe Marsko versus Morgan Cherry, and Chepe Marsko is a plus 100. Again, I don't think this fight goes to a decision, which is a plus 136. I'm going to click on that all damn day. Um, and then... Next, we have Alexander Hernandez versus Damon Jackson. Damon Jackson's a plus 160. Again, this one is a little bit tricky. I think Hernandez absolutely can get the job done. It just depends on how does he fight after the first round. Damon Jackson also starts very, very strong. This is another one. How will this fight go? Does this fight go to the distance? I'm going to say this fight goes the distance at plus 180. Um, I just think some of these guys are uh, difficult to put away, especially when they're fighting each other because they're both going to get tired after the first round or a fighter is going to get beat up for the first and then come back in the second and the third round. So I'm going to go, well, if I go the distance, yes, at plus 180. And then we have uh, Brendan Allen, Chris Curtis. And again, I like Chris Curtis a lot. I think Chris Curtis gets the job done. Um, let's see. Chris Curtis to win by KO or TKO. Let's say, wait, let's just go. Will the fight go the distance? It's a plus 215. How will the fight end? I think by KO or TKO. I don't think it, uh, I don't think it goes to a decision. I just I can't see Brandon Allen lasting with the good striking of Chris Curtis and understand that he is going to be able to land on Brandon Allen, even though he's, he's being pretty, uh, What's the word? Um, respectful to Brandon Allen, to say the least. Um, and then there are some other fights, obviously, as we know, like Court McGee versus Alex Morono. I don't see it there being a finish in this one. How will the fight end? Probably on points. I, I, I just don't see Alex Morono being able to finish Court McGee. I, I don't see it. Well, if I go the distance... The odds are better with saying how the fight will end on points. It's plus 115. Will the fight go to decisions? Minus 106. Will it be not go to the decision, which is 122? I like on points. Which actually, if you're going to do that, you might as well say the fight is going to go to a decision, which is minus 106. You might as well do that. And now you are you have seven, seven leg parlay. Trevor Peak money line. The fight will end, uh, the Walter Walker and the uh, Lucas Brzezinski fight will end by KO. Ignacio to win by submission or on points. You're banking on him to win on points. The double chance, plus 110. And will the Chepe Marisco and the Morgan Cherry fight go to the distance? No, plus 136. Uh, will the fight go to the distance, Alexander Hernandez and Damon Jackson? Yes. That's a little bit of a risky one, but I, I do like that one. And then how will the fight end with Brandon Allen and Chris Curtis by KO or TKO is a plus 210. I just think Chris Curtis finds his chin. I like that one and all. I, I, a lot. Again, you could always change those odds and put, uh, will the fight go the distance? You can say no. Take that out and put in no. It won't. That's fair. Um, will the fight go the distance? Court McGee and Alex Morono is a minus 106. Yes, it will. I think it will. Again, if you take out Chris Curtis by the KO, say no finish, still put you at plus 16,000 odds at seven leg parlay, you could put a dollar and win 166 bucks. No shame, no loss in putting a dollar on these and winning it. Also, if you're not feeling great about it and you want, you don't want to take that chance, let's just say, uh, da, 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 da. You wanna, you think one, all, most of them will hit, but you might not hit on one of them. Again, you could put a dollar and still win seventy-three bucks. Not bad at all. Not bad at all. You're just covering your, covering your ass a little bit. Uh, so, yes, but. Those are some good bets that I like personally. Let me know what you guys think. What do you guys like? Where do you guys think this fight card goes? How do you think this fight card will play out? I look forward to hearing from you guys. And as always, subscribe, like, and if again, 
If you guys ever catch the streams, if you watch the videos, make sure you smash the like button. Make sure you comment. I ever try to reply to everybody that I can. I want to be very interactive with you guys very, very much. Again, as much as I can. Um, you guys are absolutely incredible. As always, subscribe, like, and comment. Peace.